Hello, you're watching Kel67 Gaming and uh, and October it, now. Yeah, it's about that time then, isn't it? Uh, it's what's the time for? Month and games. <laughs> So September's been and gone, um, and you know what? I'm going to have to be honest again and say, actually, I haven't played an awful lot. Um, another month where I'm, I'm, I'm turn, turning into somebody who's never in the house. Another, another month where I just spent too much time out with friends. I'll be honest, I haven't played a large amount of games, but the games that I have played, I've played quite a lot of no that's, so that's not so bad it's more of i played the games i have played for longer than no. and more of an amount of games i should hope so it's about time you started finishing games <laughs> it is because god knows you're starting after them i start way too many and never finish them so well so i guess um the logical place to start is where what we always start? start um with what we asked each other for last month so who's going first what did I ask you, Ruckley? Um Last month, you um, you picked a game that I was really looking forward to, actually. Um, the follow-up to Two Point Hospital, you picked for me on the Xbox Series X, mm -hmm. uh, Two Point Campus. So you can see my nice little outside you bit. Nice garden and all my things going on there. And then inside my... My school, it's quite a small one at the minute, I've just started this one. Uh, or I should actually say restarted it. Because uh, I think I went wrong the first time I'd done it. <laughs> um, and I couldn't get my roll up. But you see, look at that, got the guy there playing Crazy Taxi. I mean, how can you not have high morale when Crazy Taxi's in the, in the entrance to your, your building? Um, you'll also notice that they're all chefs because this is a, a chef's college um, and they're doing whatever they're doing there you see like a big oven thing and then there's a lecture hall yeah. and seems to be some kind of cake spinning round. Have you been neglecting your campus requirements by the way? Yes, I absolutely have because... I'm guessing because you don't have enough room. I haven't got the room and I haven't got the money, um, so I'll neglect them for a little while. Um, but this is my plan. Neglect them for a little while and then get everything I need and build, like build some serious uh, extra facilities. Um, but that's, that's what you can see is working. There's a few people in there, all doing all their cooking and chopping and what have you. Um, and around here, this is like where, where they make, I think this is like the dessert thing. It does look it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And there's obviously a few people working in there as well. And the most important part of any college, that is the student union bar. Spent many, many long hours in there myself. Not this one, but in the college I went to, you know. So I did play it. I'll tell you what though. Not as good as Two Point Hospital. Is that because you never played the original version of Two Point Campus, but you did play Theme Hospital, so it kind of felt <laughs> more familiar when you played Two Point Hospital? I, I don't know if that was it at all. I just I didn't feel that it was as engaging. I don't. I didn't. It doesn't move as fast either. So it's like you have one academic year where like you do say you do science and that's all you do and you have to go through a whole academic year before you can add another um, course to your, your college mm. and whereas like in Two Point Hospital it's like you're continually adding new get, getting new treatments for new, new things it was like this year we're only having this disease and next year we might have another one do you know what I mean? Yeah um, so probably what would work better for a lot of people because you don't have to think about so many different things at, at the same time yeah. right from the start. I believe you choose what courses as well, don't you? So you, you can choose. But, well, you do, but regardless of what you choose, you're very limited as to what you can build and support. 
So, and don't get me wrong, it'll still let you build everything you want. So like if you're doing, uh, you saw there, I was, uh, I was doing culinary uh, courses. I, I was doing, doing the chef's course. I could still have bought, built a chemistry lab or a biology lab or whatever it might have been. It's just nobody would have, would have used them. So the, it would have been absolutely pointless. It would have just been a waste of space and a waste of money. And why? Why would you? You know? Yeah, um, I get that. So it's all right. I mean, it's a good game. It's it's just not as good as Two Point Hospital, which I'm guessing at this point is going to be much cheaper to buy. Yeah. Um, so if you're going to get one of them, get Two Point Hospital. I think they're both still on Game Pass, aren't they? Pro probably, I so. But, but I, and I think Game Pass is cheaper than. <laughs> but not everyone has Game Pass. No. No, some people don't have it. Um, so yeah, I good game, but. I think fundamentally flawed in its premise, in my yeah. opinion. So what did I ask you to play then? Well for me you asked me to play a NES game which was an adaptation of an arcade game. Mm -hmm. And for me you asked me to play Bad Dudes vs Dragon Ninja. This doesn't look like the NES. No, I, I played on the arcade. So honest. this is the arcade version? Yes. Is the NES version just too hard? Not enough continues. I just want to play the Avocade version, to be honest. But one book, I don't play the Avocade a lot, so it makes sense for when I get the opportunity to, to use it. You know what I mean? Does that not make sense? But uh, I guess. It's the same game, realistically. Just well, that's, I mean, be, I mean, you'd just be putting in infinite continues, though, wouldn't you? Because this, this being the arcade version, there isn't a limit to continues. You just keep sticking ten pences in. Yeah, but to be fair, it just means that I get to see the entire game, though, doesn't it? As well. Aye. How much would it have cost you in real, real world money if you didn't use the arcade, though? Too much. Aye, exactly. <laughs> can see you went down there. Your loss in life's at an alarming rate here. I'm not doing the worst, right? Hmm. You're certainly making the most of those continues. Well, why not? The timer doesn't go down very quickly either, does it? No, I just noticed it's no seconds, is it? No, it definitely doesn't seem it. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't like this boss. I was the more proves to be the most difficult because of the speed of them. No, I just keep chipping away at yourself, but you'll get there eventually. Now, as touch upon. I didn't play the NES version. I, I did notice. I played the Avocade, which is the arcade version. It's not the like, one that I gave you. Like, I I, it's the same game, pretty much. I played the game you asked me to, just not the direct version. That's like if I was to ask you to play Two Point Campus on PS5 and you played on Xbox. Quite honestly, that's the same version of the game. Don't care. And, and I'd have played it on PS5. Because that would have been what you'd ask me to do. <laughs> you wouldn't have. <laughs> you'd have played on Series S because you would have went and have to buy the one for PS5. Don't start. No, no. If you were if you were handing it over to me in one of these videos, you would have had it in your hand. There would be no need for me to buy it. You'd have handed it to me. <laughs> well, I had both versions, right? Don't start. I still played it, right? What did you think then? It was good. And obviously, with it being an original arcade game, it's not the longest game. No, it's not meant to take your money, be hard and that. But at the day, it's not the worst beat 'em up. No, I mean, I, I've played worse. I've played better. I, so I mean, the combat mechanics fluid enough to point where it's not aggravating. It's stuff. quite an early beat 'em up, though. So it's, it's like I like the fact that it's two D as well, because then you know it's like in the two point five D sort of thing. Right. Streets of Age, you kind of have to try and judge why. Each car does and then get in line with them. This one you don't have to, you just have to be on a diff the same level as them, which makes it a bit easier, and but also a bit more fair as well, in a way. 
All games used to be like that. Yeah, but uh, it just makes it a bit more enjoyable, I think, being on a 2D instead of 2.5D or 3D sort of thing. So. See, I, I, I never minded uh, being on something about a depth. But, I don't uh, mind it. It's just, it's a bit more fiddly and a bit more tricky to get the combat down. Fair enough. So, did, did we even put the NES version in? No. <laughs> played the other K version. I played it, right? Don't start, right? So may, maybe we'll try an, an NES game sometime, eh? <laughs> Should. Yeah, probably need to. Was it good enough that you might try the NES yes, version? Yes, it right, was. Okay. It was good enough and I did play up through all the levels, right? Yeah, okay. So I did technically complete it. No. Um, I also played in an older game, one of these 2D things, um, and I also didn't play the original. Um, I played the the new one, um, a game that I've absolutely loved since I was a kid. I uh, played Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX. I loved this game when it first came out. I, I was, it was the packing. Packing game, it wasn't packing game, it was the built in game on the Master System. Was it on the origin on the on the, the Wedge Master System? Or was it just the Master System 2? Can't remember. Um But it was on one of them. It was it was and it was built in, it was like if you put switch the machine on without a game in, this is what you played, you played Alex Kids. So obviously lots of us played it back in the day. Um I just, I've just always loved Alex Kid, brilliant game. Um, this, you can see, I'm actually not going particularly quickly through this level. Um, this, this is much easier to do if you've got the helicopter, obviously, um, but I don't have it. Um, this, this was me continuing, and this is the one thing I don't like about this game. When you continue, you lose all your money. Which actually makes it more difficult to do the level because you can't buy helicopters or motorbikes or whatever. Well, they're not going to make it easy for you, are they? But if you've already proved that you're too shite to do it, why do you make it harder when you continue? Because you're, <laughs> you're good, I guess. <laughs> uh, probably. But you know you know the point I'm making here, though, don't you? Uh, I guess they just want you to get good at it. I don't know. Well, I'm all right. You, you can see the jumping mechanics not <laughs> brilliantly helpful to me. Um, there's no adjusting your position in the air. And if you fall onto something, you can't avoid it. It's, there's no Mario stuff here. Um, but I, And it plays just like the original, which is brilliant. Um, even though it's pixel art still, it looks a lot better than the Master. So this game's every bit as enjoyable as I thought it was, um, as I remember from playing it on the Master System way back when. Um, it's just a really enjoy enjoyable, fun game. You don't have to think about it. It's just like really mindless fun. What what I did didn't realize playing through it is I can't believe we put up with that crap um, <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> You get to the end of the first level, it's like, boss fight, rock, paper, scissors. I'm not being funny, but where's the skill in that? <laughs> <laughs> we put up with the shite. No, the skill is no that. <laughs> what beats what? Uh, right? But back in the day, we put up with that crap. It's like, you get all the way to the end, you get to the boss, and you lose a rock, paper, scissors, and have to start all over again. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, it was, it was good. Um, it, was, it, was, it was nice that it's got... Uh, continues on it, um, but the big problem is collect loads of money to get all my things at the shop, and then you, like you f you fail a level, you think I'll just restart that, and it's like, and there's a shop right at the start, it's like right, all that money that I, that I, that I got will spend some of that. It's like where the hell's it all gone? Like since since you're continuing on a level that you couldn't do in the first place, we're, we're going to make it harder for you. It's like games are supposed to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> you should give me more money when I, when I, I hear, hear you, but it's 
it's an it's a, obviously an updated version of a retro game. Them games were not always meant to be fun. They were meant no, to be challenging. No, 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 no. They were meant to be fun. The problem was that games back then were challenging. Were quite short. So, in order to make them worth the price of of buying them. They had to make them rock solid hard so that you couldn't get through them in two well, minutes. Well, they probably be the same length as the original, so they have to make it yeah. rock solid tough so that it's worth it. Actually, Alex Kidd isn't that short of a game by the standards of games back in the day. Probably because you can complete the bosses much quicker if you don't have to play rock, paper, scissors. Well, there is that as well. Um, but yeah, probably enjoyed it, and it's uh, and it plays just like the, the original. It just looks that little bit nicer, while still being pixel art and not like... Uh, I remember the, the redone one of the the Wonder Boys, and they done it as like uh, like hand drawn cartoon graphics, mm. and it lost a little something. This is still pixel graphics. It's just it's more like as if Alex Kidd had been done on the Mega Drive instead of the the Master System. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, in fact, don't even know if it, if it's as primitive as a Mega Drive. Maybe more like a Symphony of the Night. Kind of pixel art style. Well, everyone saw the, the gameplay, so you can see what yeah, it looks like. Yeah, I guess deep zone for comparisons, but no, yeah. it's obviously it's a good day version. And it's good, it plays well. Um, good fun. So, what else have you played then? Well, for me, I played quite a recent game, one that's just came out, uh, and one that I was very looking forward to in uh, Metal Hellsinger. Right, Doom so. that I was quite looking forward to. I know you are. It looks a lot like Doom. Yeah, it plays a bit like Doom as well, to be honest. Um, but with a much better soundtrack, in my opinion. Well, it's Serge Tankin, isn't it? For this, uh, boss it is. But uh, it's different artists for the different levels. Yeah, and everything. For, for those of us watching this on YouTube, there's no, no soundtrack at all, because, you know, <laughs> copyrights and, and stuff like that. Um, but... It's an amazing soundtrack for it. Quite a good game. My only problem with it is it's short, the game is. But it was it not done by a, a small indie dev? It was. So you can't expect them to do uh, so, a full-length AAA. So they obviously spent the money making a good game or a, a long game. I see. Which is, is I quite can live good. with that. And well, that looks a bit bullet hellish. It is. Because uh, this, this is some of the previous bosses coming in just to draw this boss out a little bit longer. But, uh, and you have to shoot in time with the music or something. Yeah, right? you have to shoot on beat with the drums of the song. And the higher your multiplier is during the levels, I believe during the boss fights, it's not the same. Like, when your multiplier goes up, more of the song comes in, eventually into the lyrics. And then with the boss, it's just constantly there, though. But uh, no, it's a very good game yeah. and it plays quite well, to be honest. I like the, I like the, the art style on it. Like I say, very reminiscent of Doom. Yeah, I don't think Doom had many bullet hell sections in no, it. No, it didn't. So, but you know what I mean, all yeah. the, the reds and the browns and what have you. And the fact that it, it seems to be like monsters or demons or whatever. Yeah, don't draw this real quick. And the thing is, with this boss, you have to, because it's such a big boss compared to the others, you have to hit each individual. Now, when I seen this was going on Game Pass day one, I knew I was going to play it. And I did, and I completed it. Like you say, it's not the longest game no. in the world, but it's, it's, about, it's well made and it's four to five hours ish. And, it's, and it is a weird mechanic there, shooting in time with the music. Well, yeah, you don't have to, it just does more damage. Aye. It benefits you as well as it keeps your multiplayer up and keeps building that multiplayer. And I think it's a good thing that they went for a good game that plays well over a longer game. Because obviously, you can tell, I think there's about eight levels or something. Um, yeah, levels isn't too short. I know, like the levels aren't the longest. Modern, though. modern the levels modern themselves can the be like, like yeah, really long. But eight levels, they're not the longest, but they're enjoyable, yeah, and that's what you want. I mean, I mean we made the comparison in style to Doom, but actually, length-wise, is it not comparable to Doom? 
Doom wasn't a massively long. The original one wasn't a massively long game either. Well, the original wasn't massively long. The newer ones obviously are. Aye. Um, no, just a very good game, and obviously you can tell that they took their time with it. The Jerry Kerfoot and the the music fits really well into it as well. Um, the I like the fact that it gradually builds up the song over your multiplayer as well. Um, uh, and the best thing is like you get a boss and it would change the song up to be more intense and it would like it would vary, very dependent much, on the boss. It very much plays around the music, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, well that's the biggest selling point of the game. That's got really good licensed music. That the uh paid obviously each uh artist to make for the game. So they're exclusive so Surge made the song for it and everything like that. Um and it just plays really well and I think for a Game Pass game that went day one, it's definitely worth the play. And I believe it, it will, at the very least, get nominated for Best Soundtrack of the Year. Yeah, you never know with these things. So it needs so to be at least nominated. Some people have got some really daft t- taste in music. No, but it needs at least nominated. Have you ever had Jazz? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this game has got... Some people like that shit. This and game... if that's the people that's picking the nominees, <laughs> then I'm sorry. This game has got probably the best soundtrack that I've heard for games this year. No. In general. It would win it in my, if it, I was the one picking it. Yeah, well, but, you're not. but it needs at least nominated. Well, we'll, it's that good. We'll, we'll see what happens. And the fact that you can you can actually listen to songs in games has got like a music player and everything. Well, we'll, so, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm sure I'll not win. <laughs> it, it needs to. It should. By um, all means, it should. But the game itself is worth playing. It's not yes. just worth listening to. No, it, it's definitely worth playing. And I hope that uh, the company gets enough to make an even bigger budget like well, sequel or like a game similar. Well, there's this, this old uh, the game off to... Game Pass, didn't they? So they yeah, they've, obvi- the they've obviously itself, made money on it, otherwise they wouldn't have done that. And I think the game itself is only thirty-five pound yeah. for a brand new game. That's so. all right. So That's definitely all right. Um, so I played one more game this month. Um, I do like to play a racing game every now and again. Every now and again, all the time, really. <laughs> Pretty much every um, month. I do. I did quite like having a, a racing game that I'm yeah, playing. Not half bad. Um, and following, uh, I played PGR. Four, was it? Yeah, it's the one yeah. on the 360. Thought, let's go back to where it all began. Um, so I fired up the Dreamcast and played Metropolis Street Racer. So I do like to have a little bit of a racing game on the go. Um, and this one wasn't bad. Uh, you can see me going around the streets of London. Um, what car are you in there? It's an MGF. So what? An MGF. Not an MJF. An MGF. Um, yeah, for a second I did think you said MGF there. Yeah. But, uh, Maybe that's where he got his name for. Potentially. <laughs> but it's an MGF. That's Maxwell Gordon breathing. <laughs> See, that's fairly tidy through this first little section there. Um, just about got that corner right as well. Um, just about didn't get that one at all. Yeah. Uh, but still, still though, smash the target time. That's all we need to do. Um, I uh, might have run a bit wide there too. Um, you'd think that the amount of times that I've gone around this little bit, I'd have it down by now. But you know, like doing it at different times of the day and night, just. There's little things that catch up. See, that was too. I wanted to turn in earlier because I was too late the first lap round, and I turned in too early, and it's ah, uh, it's frustrating. But it's, but that's the kind of thing that keeps you going back to to play it again. Um, and I'm going to guess that I took that corner now well because it did say we hey. <laughs> and that's be good. <laughs> Either that or because you dodged crossing the uh, barricade there. Mm, possibly. And just see if we can take this this day. See straight through that That's time. Better. Not a peck of bother. Still, not my fastest time round though. Don't know where I lost time on that that last lap. Because I thought I'd done alright. Potentially slowing down for corners a bit too much. 
So playing through this, you can definitely see where Project Gotham Racing came from. Uh, it doesn't look like it plays badly either. Oh it no, looks... it, it plays really well. I mean, you consider that this, this is a game that would have been out around the same time as the original PlayStation. Um, it looks good. I it seems as if it plays well. Uh, yeah. Absolutely awesome. Um, the, the cars handle as you expect. They're not too light, they're not too, too heavy. Um, and it is very arcadey, which... Um, is your type of racing game? Well, not not necessarily. I, mean, I, I, I don't mind simulation games, but I think arcade racers is something that you don't get a lot of now, so I kind of miss them more because they're not bringing lots of them out. Mm. Um, and this one's a good one. Um, I've never really played it before, if I'm honest. Um, quite honestly, I don't think, I think we'll play the Dreamcast as much as we should. No, um, I think the last game I played was Jet Set Radio, though. For me personally, I, I, I think it was Jet Set Radio. I don't know what the last one I would have played was. Um, maybe, see, yeah, and this is like this thing, thing that you get caught up in. You, you play the Sega first per party title, so like you say you play Jet Set Radio, um, I, I, I'll play on it like Space Channel 5 mm. and uh, Choo Choo Rocket and this, you know. The ones that you can't play on anything else. Aye, exactly. Um, and, you forget that there's all these other games kicking about, um, and Metropolis Street Racer is one that we've we've had for I think probably as long as we, we've had the Dreamcast. I've never really put some kind of attention. Yeah. Yeah. But I did I did over the last month or so, and it's it's a really good. It's really hard actually. Um, you know, like Project Gotham, how easy it is to to start, uh, collect enough kudos to move on. Yeah. Oh, not on this one. You really have to work for it on this one. Which is not a witch thing. Which is, die ah, exactly. Because it extends your play time exactly, as well. Yeah. It's really good. So I played that, enjoyed that. Um, really late to the party, so everyone that's watching this will already know how great MSR is. Um, yeah, it was just me. Now it's just you. <laughs> it's just me now, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At some point. Um, but, uh, so what else did you play? I've only got one more game that I've played That's a significant handy. amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and a game that I, is one which I, I technically went back to because I did start it, never went back to until now, um, and that game is Yakuza Zero. So, this is not to I expected you to be. No. It, because this is Yakuza 0, so you don't just play as Kiryu in this one, you also play as Majima, uh, who I'm currently playing as. You're currently cheating that as because you've got a boot. I, mean, I don't see no no baseballs, but you've got certainly got a baseball bat. And he's got knives and everything. Oh, yeah, that's fair. But, uh, no. And to be fair, I actually quite like the combat system in this game. Well, that's what they do yeah. because again, it's, I'm surprised that you haven't played any of these before because it's very like Sleeping Dogs. Well, that's I a, think that's the thing. I did, and you loved Sleeping Dogs. Play Yakuza Zero. I started it like ages ago. And Which about goal? Never do it. <laughs> Pockets, right? We, 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 don't, we don't we don't judge you, right? But. Uh, no, I did start it a while ago and never finished it, and then just I came back to the series, and this time around I did finish it. So, but uh, I've definitely upgraded my myself a, a good amount as well, as you can tell by my health as well. Not looking the best because I'm missing a bit here, but uh, just change style up here. You went all uh, Eddie Gordo there. <laughs> well, he's changed up his style from using a weapon to be a bit more fast, so I kind of need to at least try and match that, don't I? I guess so. But, uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like the, 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 the flames coming off. And the... That's just to say that you've got your heat I, meter up. I know, but it, it just it looks silly. But, uh, just go back to the bath, because works out. Oh, I mean, yes, man. And, there he goes. Now, for a while I've been debating whether I go back and play through all the Yakuza series, 
and it's took me till about now to finally get back into it and go for it. So obviously, Yakuza Zero was never the original one that got released. No, it wasn't. It is the prequel that came out when the remastered one and two. So you really should have played them in order of release. No, because then you'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, Kawami, Kawami, two, Aye. zero, seven. The way they're supposed to be played. <laughs> no, because Kawami <laughs> and one are the same. Ah, but you know, but you should have played maybe one or Kawami first. It'd have to be Kawami because we don't actually have the original one. You say that, it's a PS2 game, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Not Kawami 1. But uh, no, it's a prequel, so it means that obviously if you play Kawami, you'll understand it more with the story if you're ah. it. And obviously if you play Zero that's first. The, that's the whole point. And if you play Zero first, it means when you play 1, you'll understand it when you play it first. No, you're not. Yeah, you will. No, I played Zero because in chronological order of the story, it comes first. Wait. Not in chronological ah. order of the story. The story starts with one no. and ends with zero, right? No, in in chrono- chronological order of the events as as they transpired in the universe, zero comes first. And technically, chronologically, of release, right. like a dragon's last. Well, okay. I'll give Which you is that seven. One. I'll give you that one. But uh, no, I played through Zero, and um, quite enjoyed it. Um, completed and, uh, the entire game. Uh, like I, I said to you, I think it's, it's unbelievable that it's taking you this long to play a Yakuza game. Because I remember when you played Sleeping Dogs and you absolutely loved it. And this is, it's like Sleeping Dogs, but better. Yeah, yeah, I'd go with that. Um, it's a great uh, series. I like the fact that. There was two characters, obviously, in this one. You played as Kiryu for some of them, and Majima in some of the other chapters, and obviously the stories would cross paths at times and everything like that. Um, but at the end, it does also set up Kawami. It doesn't set up Kawami. It takes you back no. to where, what you already know. No, it sets people who have started <laughs> off at zero up for Kawami. <laughs> I can tell you, it does. Play through the game, right? You haven't. <laughs> but you'd recommend it, though. I definitely recommend it, and I believe Zero is on both Xbox and PlayStation subscription servers. Probably. Because all of them are on Game Pass. From I Zero to Like a Dragon. There's, there is a few. And on PS Zero Plus as well. and both Kawami's on PS Plus. No. So definitely worth Pick the show. Pick whatever, whatever console you want to play on it. Yeah. It's just going to work. Yeah, pretty much. Just a brilliant game in general. So that's everything that we've played this month, uh, which means that we just now have to look forward to next month and uh, I guess we'll pick another game for each other yeah. this month as well. Um, who do you want to go first? What have you chosen for me? Um, well, I know that you put an awful lot of time into uh, the remi- remakes of 1 and 2. Um, and I thought I'd, I'd throw another system at you as well, one that you don't play very often. Um, I thought I'd throw at you uh, a Nintendo GameCube game. And this isn't three, although one and two that you've played played to death, or the remakes of. Um, this one is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4 on the Nintendo GameCube. That's probably the reason um, why I don't play GameCube games, is because I'm not the biggest fan of the controller. Oh, as con- as so controversial as that is, I don't tell like you it. That the GameCube controller is the greatest controller I've ever made. I don't mind it, it's really comfy in the hand. I don't like the button layout. I just don't really like it. I mean, it, it feels good quality in a way, but it's just. I don't not, like, I don't it's like not the layout, layout of everything. I mean, I'll still give it a go because, as you said, I've, I've been playing the 1 and 2 remaster remake on PS5 quite a lot so yeah I'm quite happy with that and for you I've chosen a game which you should hopefully enjoy oh, uh, being the Final Fantasy 7 remake part one obviously because uh, they've done the extra chapter for Yuffie and then they're releasing the second part after the Dunk Crisis call I'm, I'm going to pull the same shit as you pulled last month 
<laughs> um, I'm not going to play this version, but I'm going to play the PS5 version. Is that alright? Yeah, don't go systems. So it, the, it just gives a visual for the viewers, right? <laughs> okay. okay. Um, I don't mind. It, it's a game that I, I kept. I meaning, loved. I keep kept meaning to start playing it because uh, I did love the original Final Fantasy VII. Um, but I played this. But it's one of the same. It's like I know it's a huge time sink, so I never really, really got around to starting. You say it's that. a huge time but sink. I wouldn't say it's too big. Ah, because you only do Medgar, don't you? You go out of Medgar slightly. Once you leave Midgar, that's it. So it's no, only you, like the, the first. You leave Midgar, then there's a little bit after it. And it's only the first little bit of the game. Because they're releasing part two next year, I believe. Well, after they've released Crisis Core. Crisis Reunion. Core, that, that's the one that we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, Crisis Although, Core Reunion, which comes out. That makes this no sense Christmas. because Crisis Core, you need to have played all the way through Final Fantasy VII to get what's going on in Crisis Core. It so depends on how they do, because with the remake, they've not stuck. Fully to the original source material. Well, yeah, there is that. So if they don't we'll stick to it, we'll see how it works out. I mean, yeah. for me, it makes no odds because I played through when the, when the first came out, so I mean, I know the crack. Um, do you notice I got through that with no spoilers at all? <laughs> um, watch and learn. Watch, watch the master. Um, don't spoil things for people. <laughs> we might, we might just have intrigued, intrigued people then. And, oh, what? What is it that, that's, that connects these two games? And then he go and play them. That'd be good. For all we know, the thing that connects them is the name. Which it. <laughs> well, they're, only, they're both in the Final Fantasy VII yeah. universe, not just a Final Fantasy game. But no, I think Reunion comes out this Christmas and Part 2 comes out for the remake next Christmas or something. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Which is weird. We'll see. Why they're doing it year by year. But, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely looking for the Crisis Core remake. Because there isn't really a. A great way to play it. As much as I love the PSP, um, it's not the best system to be playing. Yeah, it's. I love the games rather. It'd be than better if they put it on PS Plus. No, well, you never know. You know, but uh, we'll wait and see. Don't know if that will if they're doing reunion. And then, and that doesn't help everyone because not everyone has uh, PS Plus premium. Pres- well, uh, to be fair, Crisis Core Reunion's going on Xbox and that. Is it? No. Well, yeah. So, may go on Game Pass as well. I don't think so, but. but that's it for this month. That's everything that we've played. A little bit of what we're going to play over the next several weeks. Um, yeah. yeah, nothing more to say. Apart from, if you haven't already, give us a like, share, and subscribe, and turn the notification bell so you can find out when we upload. And we will see you in the next video.